Oh my God, everybody, I feel amazing. I just finished my 96 hour fast, and I gotta tell you, nothing but positive results. My lower back pain, my knee pain, both gone. Energy levels up here all throughout. First day, a little bit difficult, had a bit of a headache because I wanted to get a meal in me after my second training session. Didn't get to do that. A little bit hard to fall asleep the first night, but after that, second, third, fourth day, amazing. I slept so good. I usually get this feeling in my legs where I have to move a lot and I toss and turn in my sleep. During this fast, fell right asleep. It was amazing. I felt very fresh when I woke up in the morning. One important thing to note, guys, and this is not coming from me, this is just me doing my own research, strength training while you're fasting. Because when you're fasting, not only are you losing body fat, you are losing muscle mass. So one thing I was really consistent about was every morning I would wake up, do some weightlifting, get a good sweat, down a lot of water, guys. Obviously, you're gonna get dehydrated. The other trainings were the same as normal, you know, doing my jiu-jitsu, doing my Wing Chun, doing my Kali. I did moderate my training a little bit because I haven't done a four-day fast in a very long time. Why did I do four days instead of two days? I just wanted to extend the period in order for my blood glucose levels to go down. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't think I have high blood glucose levels, but I am in my 40s and I wanted to bring it down if it was high, just in case. Definitely did it for health reasons, reduce the inflammation in my body, get rid of the pain, and hopefully during all this, kill enough of those bad cells that are producing toxins in my body. During the reboot process, getting my body into ketosis, I was able to kind of flush those out of my system. That was the plan. Again, I'm not an expert on this. What I do know is for the past five years, I did intermittent fasting which is not a big deal. I usually just have my last meal at night and then I wake up in the morning, I do my training, and then I have my first meal. I usually feel really good like that. I feel sharp, my mind feels sharp, I feel focused, my energy levels are good. But to make the decision to do a two day fast or a four day fast, I leave that up to you. I chose to do four day because I think it's quite difficult. Four days is stretching it. Uh, I gotta admit, the fourth day was really tough because all I could do was think about food. I lost my sense of smell like 17 years ago. Don't ask me why, it's probably another long story. But all I could do was smell food today. Everywhere I went, no matter what I was doing, and there was no food around me. I smelt burgers, I smelt pizzas, I smelt fried rice, I smelt cha I, I I walked past a bakery and I was really stuck on it. So expect that, uh, that's a big thing. But I was surprised that the energy levels stayed up the entire time. Also, the last night, I would say sleeping was a little bit more difficult because I, my energy levels were like up here and it wouldn't come down. So there was like zero crash. I could, you know, read an entire book. I could go through eight episodes of whatever I was watching on Netflix. I could train with very clear intentions uh, if I chose to focus on a certain subset of whatever martial art I was training. I could really zone in on that and I like that. I really like the ability to do that because you're able to get a lot more out of those training sessions as opposed to when you're tired. Also teaching wise, I was able to teach more focused, more clear, more details. Sometimes when you're teaching you wanna just be like, okay, you're doing that fine, great work. And then you walk away and you look at a couple other students but I was very just staring at it. No, no, you need to adjust your leg like this. No, you need to circle here. You need to block the hip. You need to adjust this. And that felt good because it was helping my students. So again, guys, if you wanna do a fasting, I would definitely recommend it, but do your own research on it. I find it highly beneficial. My next goal is to get back to my cold water swimming. I think the temperature is starting to drop a little bit now. So give it another week or maybe more, let the ocean to cool a little bit as well because that's gonna take longer. And I can get back to doing my one mile and two mile open water swims, which I think is also very good for the body. All of it just reducing inflammation, you know, increasing vitality, making you very energetic. So go for it guys and let me know how it goes.